I am not done teaching you about common Dutch expressions. So this is again a sequel with some expressions that are really short, but you will need them on a daily basis. Hallo lieve vrienden. So, a new lesson about common Dutch expressions. The first example is about someone you want to wish good luck, right? So in English you say good luck, in Spanish you would say buena suerte, and in Dutch you would say just one word, and that is success. So we just say that to someone. So I'm off to the exams, ik ga mijn examens doen, then you will say success. And if you are saying to someone, I'm rooting for you, then you will say, ik zal voor je duimen. So diamond are these things. So what is actually meant here is this movement, which is something like, I'm rooting for you, right? So by the way, the word diamond is also a verb for what little kids used to do before the uh, pacifier was invented. That is sticking your thumb in your mouth and suck your thumb, right? That is also called diamond. If you are wishing someone a nice work day, then usually people say werkse. So if someone leaves for work, you will hear it very often, werkse. And if you are wishing someone lots of fun, then you will say veel plezier. If someone sneezes, in English you would say bless you, and in Dutch you would say gezondheid, as in the German way gezondheid. So we say exactly the same in Dutch, which I think is peculiar because in most cases when someone sneezes, it's just because they had an itch in their nose or there was a piece of dust, right? So they're not sick or anything, but you still wish them health because that is what gezondheid means. You were basically shouting someone health. And um, uh, while there's nothing the matter with that person, you would think if someone coughs, you will say that to them, but then nobody says a word. So I always thought it was, this was funny. Another thing, when someone is grieving, then you will say something, right? Like my condolences and uh, my heart goes out to you in English. And in Dutch, you would say sterkte. So that means strength, actually. So you wish them strength. And also a more formal word is gekondoleerd. So that means condolences, right? So that is what you say, just that one word, gekondoleerd. And Sterkte. And you can also say both with a period between them because these are just separate words. These are not a sentence. If you are saying something is too bad or it's a pity, also one single word is used and that is jammer. If someone says to you, I wasn't hired, in Dutch that is, ik ben niet aangenomen. And you want to say to them, that's too bad, you will say jammer. Just one word. Then another expression. That is to be embarrassed or to be an embarrassment. That is something that I had a little trouble translating this in English because you cannot translate it literally, but it is the expression voor paal staan. So voor means in front of, paal is a pole and staan is standing, right? So you're standing as a pole, something like that, right? And uh, that means you are embarrassed or you are an embarrassment. I'm not going out in that sweater. I'll be an embarrassment. Ik ga niet naar buiten met die trui aan. Ik sta voor paal. And another way to say this is ik sta voor schut. So instead of paal, you will say schut. And there's also another way that this is expressed that is instead of the word paal or schut, you will use the word lul. And that is a slang word for penis. And uh, also that is uh, like a verb and it means something like talking trash. So what are you talking trash for? What sit you now to lullen? That is verb about talking trash. But if you are embarrassed, you can also say ik sta voor lul. 
Another expression is Ik word van het kastje naar de muur gestuurd. So kastje means a little cabinet and muur means wall. Right, so basically you're saying I'm being sent from the cabinet to the wall. So this is not like the song from Lil John that has another meaning. But this means that someone is sending you back and forth, right? So uh, if I go to a colleague to ask them, can you help me with this? Can you he may help him? And they tell me, you have to go to that department over there. Then you moet naar die afdeling, daar. And uh, you go to that department and you ask the same question. Can you help me with this? Can you he may help her? And they tell you, you have to go to that apartment over there. You move to the afdeling. So they send you back to the first department that you, that you started with. So that means they are sending you back and forth and you're getting nowhere. And then that is when you use this expression. Ik word van het kastje naar de muur gestuurd. And the final example I wanted to give you is an expression that you use if you are passionately something. So if you would say, I am a citizen of Rotterdam in a passionate way, then you will use two organs in your body, that is heart and kidneys, right? So you will say, Ik ben een Rotterdammer in hart en nieren. That, that's what you say if you are passionately a citizen of Rotterdam. Okay, those are again some new expressions for you to learn. Re-listen this, remember them, and let me know what you think. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.